In the last video, we created our three buttons and added empty click handlers to them. Next, what we want to do before we add in our code here is we want to create our custom queries for the insert, update, and delete. So let's go ahead and double click on our data set. Mine's called Visual Basic Data Set.xsd. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create three queries here and one query here. First, let's create our insert query. Or actually, Let's create, yeah, let's create the insert query. So click on the query, make sure the resident table is selected. Double click on query here underneath toolbox data set. And notice as soon as we click on it, it gets auto filled right in, in the resident table adapter. Make sure you select use SQL statement. And then, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to click on the insert into, click next, it's going to generate the query for us. It'll probably do the same thing for the delete, but the update we have to do ourselves sometimes. So click next, insert query is a good name, next, and then finish. Let's do the same thing. Double click the query, use SQL statements, and then we're going to do update, click next, and you're like, hey, it didn't auto fill. That's fine. You can use the query builder if you'd like. It may give you an error because I have the word update in there. So if I remove the word update and then click query builder, we don't get an error. And then click on resident and say add. Go ahead, if you want to, click each of these checkboxes and it'll add a field to it. I'm actually going to paste in my code in a second here because I've already written the query statement. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to explain it real quick, just like I did with the view card history. We say update what table name, which is the resident table, and then we say set the values using the at, and then which is the parameters. And so these are going to be the names that we call when we do the queries in our form. And then what we do or what we want to update is where do you want to update it? I want to make sure that I update only the resident ID that is currently selected on my form. So go ahead, click next. Update query is a good name. Next and then finish. Let's build the next one. So we're going to do delete. So again, double click query, use SQL statements, click on delete, next, and yeah, we get that error again. So I'm also going to paste this in. Uh, if you only see one word here, it'll give you that error. Just go ahead and delete that, and then click on query builder, select the table you want, close it, and then there you go. See, delete from resident, and then we'll add the rest of the code right now. simple delete form. Click OK. Go ahead, click Next. Delete is a good name, delete query. Click Next and then finish. We need one more query so that when we run our delete query, it also deletes within the key card table. So click on the key card table, the adapter, and let's generate a delete. So use SQL statements, delete, next, remove it, Click on Query Builder. We want key card. Add that table. Close it. So delete from for the key card. We'll do the same thing, except we have a little bit of a name change difference. So it's going to be lowercase resident underscore ID based on how we named our fields in the key card table.
go ahead click OK click next delete query is fine actually you know what? I'm gonna call it delete keycard history or delete keycard query click next finish I don't want too many delete queries when I'm looking at different queries in my forms in the next video I will show you how to apply the queries to each of the forms.